Actor Donald Crisp was a well-known star in the movie world, leaving behind a trail of unforgettable roles. Many remember him best for his performance in Insert Famous Work, which really shaped his career. When thinking about him, lots of people have fond memories. His influence touches many hearts. What's your favorite memory or personal story about this classic actor? Post your stories and memories in the comments below. And keep watching because we've got plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts to share. Donald Crisp was born in Bow, London, England. He grew up in a family of modest means with his father working as a jeweler. Crisp discovered his passion for acting early in life, participating in amateur theater productions during his youth. His family's financial struggles motivated him to seek employment, and he began working as a clerk at a stock company. However, his love for acting persisted, and he eventually joined William Gillette's Theater Company, where he honed his craft. During his time with Gillette's company, Crisp gained valuable experience and developed his acting skills. He later moved to the United States, where he continued to pursue his acting career in New York City. His talent and dedication caught the attention of filmmakers, and he made his film debut in the early 19s. Crisp's career thrived in Hollywood, where he became known for his versatility and ability to portray a wide range of characters. He appeared in numerous silent and sound films, earning acclaim for his performances. One of his most notable roles was as Dr. Mead in the epic film Gone with the Wind. Throughout his career, Crisp's early experiences in the theater and his determination to succeed despite obstacles shaped his approach to acting. He was known for his professionalism and commitment to his craft, qualities that contributed to his success in both theater and film. Donald Crisp played Mr. Morgan in How Green Was My Valley. He also performed this role in radio adaptations of the movie in 1942 with other actors like Sarah Allgood, Roddy McDowell, Maureen O'Hara, and Walter Pigeon. Their chemistry made the story come alive even on the radio. He did radio versions again in 1947 and 1954, showing his talent and flexibility. After he died, he was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California. It's a peaceful place fitting for his role in the entertainment industry. Besides acting, he was involved in the film business side. He was on the Bank of America advisory board for a long time, even leading it for a while. This helped him shape Hollywood's financial side. His acting and business work left a big impact on the industry. The characters he played and the work he did still inspire actors and entertain audiences today. Donald Crisp's story is a big part of Hollywood history. Donald Crisp, known for his outstanding performances, acted alongside Henry O'Neill in 11 unforgettable movies. Some of these great films include The Key, Oil for the Lamps of China, The White Angel, The Great O'Malley, The Life of Emile Zola, The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse, Jezebel, Jerez, Sons of Liberty, Dr. Alix, Magic Bullet, and Newt Rockne, All-American. In the touching story of How Green Was My Valley, he played Mr. Morgan, a character loved by viewers. Interestingly, he and Sarah Allgood were the first choices for the roles of the parents, showing their talent and chemistry on screen. His journey in movies reached a high point when he played Grandpa Spencer in Spencer's Mountain with Henry Fonda and Maureen O'Hara. This movie, based on Earl Hamner Jr.'s book, later became the basis for the popular TV show The Waltons. Through his skill and depth as an actor, he made a lasting impression on the world of movies, inspiring generations. This collection of performances shows how talented he was and how much he contributed to the film industry. Donald Crisp, known for his roles in several notable films, encountered various experiences throughout his career. In The Black Pirate, he portrayed McTavish under the direction of Douglas Fairbanks until a disagreement led to his replacement by Albert Parker. In Wuthering Heights, he played Dr. Kenneth alongside a talented cast, including Lawrence Olivier and David Niven. Additionally, in How Green Was My Valley, he depicted Mr. Morgan in a congenial atmosphere, with John Ford trusting the cast to deliver strong performances. However, a minor incident occurred when Maureen O'Hara pointed out a historical inaccuracy on set, leading to her temporary removal by Ford. Despite such incidents, Crisp's contributions to these films remain noteworthy. Donald Crisp, known for his various roles in the film industry, including directing, had a notable time behind the camera. During this period, he worked with well-known actors like Douglas Fairbanks, John Barrymore, and Buster Keaton. 
In recognition of his significant influence in Hollywood, he was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 1628 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. This recognition happened on February 8, 1960. One of his memorable performances was in the movie How Green Was My Valley, where he played the character Mr. Morgan. Notably, this film marked the only Oscar-nominated performances of Sarah Allgood and Donald Crisp, with Crisp winning the Best Supporting Actor Award. His work as a director and his acclaimed performance in How Green Was My Valley highlight his influence in Hollywood. Donald Crisp, recognized for his roles in various significant films, earned an Oscar during his work on The Gay Sisters in 1942. During his acceptance speech, he mentioned Barbara Stanwyck's kind act of rehearsing award acceptance by handing him various props from the set. One notable film featuring him is Ramrod, where he portrayed Jim Crew. The movie premiered on February 21, 1947, at both the Utah and Capitol Theaters in Salt Lake City as part of Utah's centennial celebration as U.S. territory. The premiere boasted the presence of Joel McCrea, Veronica Lake, and many other Hollywood stars. He appeared in 13 films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance, including The Birth of a Nation and How Green Was My Valley. Additionally, he directed The Navigator, also in the registry. His impact on cinema remains notable and enduring. In The Viking, Donald Crisp portrayed Leif Erikson, while Anders Randolph played Eric the Red. They previously starred together in The Black Pirate, a silent movie filmed in two-color Technicolor. In Brother Orchid, he portrayed Brother Superior. A radio adaptation of the movie aired on the Screen Guild Theater, with him reprising his role. In Spencer's Mountain, he portrayed Grandpa Zubulin Spencer. Maureen O'Hara, who acted alongside him in How Green Was My Valley, also starred in this film. His versatility shone through in these roles, showcasing his talent across different genres and mediums. Donald Crisp, co-director of a film, left the production before filming underwater scenes at Lake Tahoe. In The Life of Emile Zola, he portrayed Mater Labory alongside four Oscar winners, Paul Mooney, Joseph Childcraut, Gail Sondergaard, and himself, and one Oscar nominee, Louis Calhoun. He also played MacTavish in The Black Pirate and appeared with Anders Randolph, who portrayed the pirate captain, in another silent movie, The Viking, filmed in two-color Technicolor. Both films showcase his versatility as an actor. Overall, Donald Crisp's roles in these films demonstrate his range and talent as an actor in early cinema. Donald Crisp, recognized for his role as Barney Reebstock in Whispering Smith, shared similarities with Robert Preston in other films like Union Pacific. In both movies, he played a character central to the railroading theme alongside Joel McCrea and Alan Ladd in Union Pacific and Brenda Marshall in Whispering Smith. His character in Whispering Smith served as the antagonist, contrasting with the lead's efforts to guide him towards decency, reminiscent of Brian Donlevy's role in Union Pacific. Train wrecks were significant in both films, highlighting their thematic parallels. Outside of acting, Crisp had a multifaceted background, he served in the British Army during the Boer War, where he crossed paths with a young Winston Churchill at the start of his political career. Crisp later served in Army intelligence during the First World War and rose to the rank of colonel in the United States Army Reserves during the Second World War. Crisp's varied experiences in military service and acting underscored his versatility and depth as a performer and individual, enriching his impact on both fronts.